What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Wellu Heart Health Monitor ECG Recorder. So this is something that Wellu sent me to go over with a review, see who it's really made for, and if it's really worth it for you. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Get into that unboxing. I've already unboxed it, but I'll let you know what's in there. When you slip off this sleeve, you're gonna open up the box. It actually took me a little second to figure out. You gotta open up this little hinge. You're gonna have your well you tracker right there, and it's gonna tell you to charge it before using it, and it also has a little one-year warranty. You can pop that out, and then it has a little bit of a container. This is everything else built in, so you pop that open. These are all gonna be within like, oh, <laughs> little sleeves. It has a USB for your computer to get that all set up. You can also download it online. Then it's gonna have a lot of your uh, monitoring electrodes, 3M stuff. Then it's also gonna have a chest strap. They recommend that you use electrodes, but either way, it can work. And then of course, it has its instruction manual as well. And don't forget, it also has its charging cable slash its data cable as well. So what does this guide do? So it does 24 hour heart rate monitoring with ECG, and it does an AI analysis throughout the day to figure out any type of abnormal rhythm to your heart. It says it can intelligently identify up to 14 types of abnormal ECG events. I mean, atrial fibrillation is one of the more common ones, but there's a lot of other ones that it can get detect as well. You can also get real-time tracking through the app, and I'll get into that in a second. It wasn't in any of the actual paperwork, but I'll go ahead and let you know what that's all about as well. A couple of other things with this, it does have 72 hours of battery life built in before you have to recharge it. It's data storage, it can store up to 30 hours of data, but only one entire recording can be 24 hours. The other ones can be a little bit shorter, but you can get up to 30 hours recording before having to upload that data right onto your app on your computer so it can analyze it. It only takes about an hour and a half, two hours to fully charge this device, so it's real quick to charge. And you have your two ways to actually wear it, either through those electrodes or through the strap. I, I, if I were to be using this, I'd probably be using the strap because those electrodes, you'd have to actually buy more. You could buy it through the actual uh, online or you could buy your own, but you'd probably need to buy them through Wellu. And if you're looking for the most accurate readings, you want to be doing that 24 hour recording to give it a lot of extra data so it can use the AI to do it. And they say using the pads itself is going to be a lot more accurate, even though the chest strap itself was very accurate for me as well. But they recommend for the most accurate reading using the electrodes at that 45 degree angle at your chest. One of the biggest things, the reason why you'll be owning one of these is if you are a little bit more elderly or if you are having heart troubles or chest pain, they say even though if you go into a doctor, a lot of people will go out undiagnosed because you're only in for the doctor for a smaller period of time or something like this can be on your person the entire day, entire week, you can have it throughout and even give you notifications so when your heart rate spikes or drops a little too low. Equipment like this so you get a lot of extra data can help you identify and evaluate your health status to help you avoid things or lower the risk of heart attacks and stuff like that. If you do have a pacemaker, that will affect the ECG analysis. So if you have a pacemaker, this really wouldn't be meant for you. And with all of this, you get an instant report at home that you can send out to your doctor and you can be able to send it out to anybody who can analyze it and figure out what's the best course of action for you. They do say this isn't a medical device, but it is something to give you a lot of good information to share with people that need it. I'm not really gonna go into the amount of events that this can actually identify. I'll probably just shoot it down right below. It is a long list of things I will most likely actually pronounce wrong, but it can actually identify all these things and let you know what's going on. But things that I know, minimum heart rate, heart rate variability, it'll be able to let you know, and even maximum heart rate as well. So like I said, there is a connected app. It's called the V-Health app. And it does take sometimes a little bit to actually populate on the screen, but I do have it on currently right here on my chest. You can hardly even see it, but I'm not the biggest fan of how long it takes this app to load, but it's actually great when it works in the background. Sadly, it only works in the background and we'll get into that in a second, but let's go ahead and wait. 
finally popped up. That took about 30 seconds, but I'll get right into it. There we go. Actually, it's up. So it sees your heart rate right there, and you see a live ECG right there at the bottom as well, which is awesome. And you can actually record your ECG throughout here, and you even have your history about what everything has when you go into that history. It'll give you a idea of how your ECG was throughout each one of those. And of course, you're back to your dashboard, and you click over to settings. You can do heart rate targets if you would like that, and you can actually change that if you would like. I have that off right now, but it does have a little vibration motor in there to let you know what's going on. Uh, you can update the vice. You can actually change a heartbeat sound on if you want to. Yeah, really up to you. Uh, no, not me. Uh, but then it has all the other things in here. One of the things that is annoying, so you do have to have the app running for it to stay on. So if I do drop out of the app and I want to go back to the app, it resets right from the beginning. Uh, that's really annoying as it takes about 30 seconds to repopulate. So I'm not the biggest fan of that, but you can actually share this with somebody else. But again, you do have to have it running while doing it. Now let's get into the actual thing itself. So I'm gonna be taking it off my body. It is on, as I see in the B-roll, I actually use the electrodes for it. So when you pop it off, it comes right out. And I'm gonna connect it right to my computer. So I do have running the app in the background. It does have to do a little class. So this is my first time doing this. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna plug it into my USB and it should detect. There it is. Gonna download an update real quick, I'll get right back to you. All right, after reading the instructions, you do have to download data. I guess I have to put my stuff in. Timothy Frost, also if you wanna be buying this online, you could use my name, Timothy Frost, as a coupon code and get 10% off. So it looks like once you put all your information in, it shoots right to the download. All right, we are right here. We can go ahead and analyze. It takes up to 30 minutes to analyze each piece of data. You receive a notification when that analysis is complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right back to you once that analysis is complete. All right, and we are back. The analysis is complete, so let's get into it. It's gonna give you a PDF that you can download and it gives you an idea, number of super supraventral heartbeats. Interesting. Uh, rhythm stuff. HRV throughout, that's pretty interesting. I think I might be doing a video of the HRV with that and the whoop strap, seeing how they are accurate, because I think this is a very accurate device. Um, I have a, res uh, a couplet, a pack, and a sinus rhythm. I'm gonna have to look into that type of stuff, but it's a pretty interesting, well thought out device. That I might need to look into this, all this with the EC. So uh, you get a lot of great information that you can send out to whoever might need it, your doctor, anything like that. Some of my recommendations, I would definitely recommend this for anybody who needs to go into the hospital for their ECG recordings. Sometimes you actually have to rent your equipment for this type of stuff, which can of course get a little expensive. Yes, you can go through um, your insurance and stuff like that, but some people have to go into the hospital or into the doctor's office and get 24 hour monitoring for something that you can just have at home. That is easy. So if you are looking to buy one of these, check out my discount code down below. It's gonna be Timothy Frost. You can go to the website and you can get 10% off your device if you are looking into for something like this. This isn't really a fitness device, yes, you can do workouts with this will actually help with the recordings kind of like a stress test but I wouldn't just uh, recommend uh, buying this just for fitness related activities hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if it was please smash that like button if it was really helpful please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out and if you could use my coupon code down below you can get 10% off that purchase and a little bit of your purchase is going to help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one.